Makro Katsuki. He's not a very cuddly baby on the outside, no. But when you get to know him, God, he's like a cat. He loves spooning, and on some nights, he'll even be a little spoon. He'll hug you close to him, leaving soft kisses on your neck and collarbones. And once he's done, he'll bury his face in your hair, inhaling the scent of your shampoo. Hey, get off me! He says, as he wraps his arms around you anyway. A little thunder cat, but cuddle him, he needs it. Todoroki Shoto. He's so touch starved. He needs hugs and cuddles, and all the love you have to give. He'll be awkward and stiff at first. Will shiver at your soft, gentle touches. Poor baby's not used to this. Eventually, when gets used to it, he'll be demanding. Love, can I have a hug, please? And who are you to say no to his puppy eyes? But be careful. Once his arms are wrapped around you, there is no escape for a few hours. He'll give you feather light kisses, play with your hair, and will be pleased to just have you in his arms and see the smile you have on your face. He'll sit in your lap if you're doing homework and won't get why your face goes red. He might fall asleep though at your arm. He's like a newborn kitten. He's adorable. Midori Izuku. A baby, the cutest one on earth. He gets so blushy and shy when you cuddle him. He'd stutter nonsense because he's too shy to form a coherent thought in that adorable little brain of his. Loves to be both the little spoon and the big spoon. He just wants to keep you warm and safe in his arms, but also loves to be held and drink in all of your love. If you pick him up and cuddle him, then he's gonna pass out. Handle with care. Shinso Hitoshi. He's an actual cat, really, and that's the only reason why he and Aizawa get along so well. Cuddle him at night, and he'll tell you that you're so needy, but he's just as needy as you are. We'll fall asleep as soon as he's in your arms. No doubt about it. Loves to bury his face in your hair, and wrap his arms around your waist, pulling you closer to him. He's actually shy at first and blushes a lot, but he's good at hiding it. Conclusion: Hug him as much as you can. Shigaraki Tomura. Shigaraki is difficult. He's unsure about everything, hesitant about every touch. Not only his touch starved, but the thought of him hurting you haunts him, and he can't brush it off. Eventually, he gets braver, but will be slow, and so so careful about it. It all starts with small kisses on your cheeks, then slowly. Gentle arms wrapped around your waist, but his hugs are always too short. He won't fall asleep hugging you. Too anxious to do so, he'll sit on your lap, rest against your chest as your hands play with his hair. That's the only time he lets his eyes close, as he relaxes against you, treats you like a spun glass. Kaminari Denki. He'd hug you from behind every morning, whispering sweet nothing into your ear, as he kisses the back of your neck, until Ida tells him that he should stop, and that he shouldn't do this in front of everyone. Loves to be the big spoon, and loves the feeling that he could make you feel safe and protected 
and warm as he wraps his arms around you and tells you about anything and everything that comes up in his mind. Sometimes, when you are cuddling, he'd start tickling you, and he's merciless. A good boy. Tamaki Amajiki. He's so, so shy, but he'll go out of his way to hug you. You're the one to initiate the hugs most of the time, though. He'll be shy, but instantly relaxes once he feels you against him. If you kiss him, he'll get so flustered and would hide his face in your neck. Loves to be a little spoon, but also likes to be the big spoon sometimes. He's so cute. Cherish him. Dabby. He's not a cuddly person. And he doesn't think he'll ever be, until you hug him, your warmth, and gentle touches drew him in for some reason. And ever since then, he'd been feeling weird. He didn't know he liked hugs. If anything, his default emotion towards anything was hate. So for him to be so drawn into your hugs, and even crave them. Was strange. We'll get irritated if you go too long without cuddling him. But we'll never openly request it. He won't wrap his arms back around you for a while. But when he does, you're delighted. Eventually, he gets used to it, and only hugs you to fluster you, and it never fails. We'll put you in his lap as he and Chigaraki play a match in an online game. Kirishima Ijiro will cuddle you a lot. He's very affectionate. Gives you kisses sometimes if he's feeling extra affectionate. But he's mostly content with simply hugging you and hearing you talk about your day. He's a big spoon. Because that's manly, but he's too shy to admit that he also likes to be the little spoon sometimes. You notice, however, and let him, and he always blushes when you do that. His hugs are tight, safe, and filled with love. If you wanna feel energetic and happy. Just throw yourself into his arms, and he'll charge you up with all the love and positivity he has, and it's a lot. He's so precious. Love him.